What's up guys, my name is John and today we're going to be checking out the Joel Wanasek Bus Glue Guitar Plugin from Joey Sturgis Tones. Uh, for the demo, I just made the track that you guys just heard in the intro and uh, honestly, this plugin just made those guitars sound massive in the final mix. Uh, but before we get into all how the plugin works, how to use it, uh, I need to give a quick shout out to my boy Eric Cabrera for the clean video work in the intro and my boy Ethan Taylor for laying down the drums and the ambience parts on the track. Uh, links to both their Instagrams and Ethan Taylor's new album Transfix will be down in the description. Uh, anyways, back to the JW Bus Glue plugin. Uh, I'm not really an audio engineer and I'm really new to this whole mixing stuff so uh, this plugin is really useful for me since it's easy to use and it can... It can really deliver good sounding massive tone on your guitar tracks in just a few minutes. Alright, so now we're just going to go through the uh, plugin interface, how to use it, and then we're just going to uh, go through some before and after clips you know, with the tracks with and without the bus glue plugin. Uh, right here I just have the uh, raw guitar tracks in my DAW, uh, no EQ, no drums. Uh, so let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to open up the plugin, and uh, this is how it looks when you first load it into your effects. Alright, so here we have the Crush slider, uh, Loud Chug Slayer button, and the Mix. Uh, you can also press this right here to link, if you want to link your uh, two sliders together. And uh, from what I've heard, uh, the crush is actually a limiter. And this chug slayer right here uh, really controls the bottom end when you have like, you know, a bunch of chugs, a bunch of palm muting. And uh, especially for uh, extended range players, uh, you, you know how hard it is to control that, uh, that bottom end when you get really deep into that um, palm muting. Uh, but yeah, let me show you how these controls affect your tracks. Uh, let's start with this riff right here. Uh, it's very genty in nature, and uh, it has a lot of palm muting, so I think it'll be a good example. So uh, let's listen to it without the plugin. <laughs> So it sounds pretty good, but uh, it is missing a uh, touch of clarity, and uh, I don't know, it's just not sounding like it could go in a mix. But uh, let's add this plugin right here, and we'll mess around with the controls a little bit, just to get it dialed in. I think I got it there to where I wanted it to be uh, so you can really see how this crush really affects the tone and it um, really has a good impact on it uh, but let's see here's the mix slider this is just in case you want like how much of the effect you actually want all right so <laughs> Basically, it's just a master volume for the plugin. But uh, let's check out this Chug Slayer right here. And for that, I think we're going to go to this breakdown riff right here. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite riffs that I've written. But uh, okay, let's put this on real quick. <laughs> That sounds sick with the uh, with the plugin engaged, but uh, let's put on this chug slayer and you'll see it really tightens it up. You know, it controls that bottom end uh, to where it's not it's, um, as bassy and overpowering, but you still get that uh, you still get that bottom end 
that punchy low end, you know. Uh, as you can hear, it really, it really changed the tone from, uh, from a flabby low end with the palm muting to uh, a more punchy sounding bass to the uh, to the guitar track. But yeah, I think this will be it for the video, guys. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Lavish Row. Massive thanks to JST for providing the plugin, and thank you to my boys Eric and Ethan again. All their links will be in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video, bros. I'm out.